have you Muslim and you're watching this, say mashallah right now. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Devi. I am your Muslim homegirl, and if you want to be homies with me, you would definitely hit that subscribe button. And if you're already subscribed, hey homie, how you doing? What's up, what's up? Thank you for watching another video from your Muslim homegirl. Anyways, by the title of this video, y'all know I have a bias for you, honey. A bias. I wonder if I could see the the flow of my a bias. <laughs> Definitely gonna put the full body picture on the video right here because y'all know I can configure my camera to get full body. But anyway, this is the first abaya I have to show you guys. This abaya is like trending all over the internet, like in the modern fashion world. I see a lot of shops have it. I see a lot of shops, they're selling it for like $98, $110. I've seen it for $60. Y'all, I got this abaya for $38 freaking dollars. Yes, I found me a little Instagram shop. Bought this little abaya for $38 freaking dollars, okay? So the place that I ordered it from, I'll put the name right here. Cause I can't remember what it's actually called. I think it's called Abaya something, 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 something. But I got it from this shop and they are located in Saudi Arabia, I think, or Dubai, something like that. They're located overseas. So when you do buy from them, it's gonna take a while for you to get your stuff, especially during this time. Right now it's Ramadan. Y'all see my decorations? This is from last week. I had an iftar that I decorated. If you want to see more of that, you can watch my little iftar for that information. But yeah, normally shipping with them is super fast. Their customer service is A1 day one. They don't have an actual website, but you could just DM her and she'll, you know, process your order through PayPal. Make sure you do use PayPal. I mean, she's not a scam or anything like that. She's legitimate. But Let's get into this Abaya, honey. So the color, the color is like peach or salmon-y. I can't quite tell. And it did come with this white hijab. If y'all seen my Eid inspiration video, you guys know I fell in love with the white hijab and it carried every outfit throughout this video. And this white hijab is carrying this outfit right now. <laughs> so it came with the white hijab and it came with this white underdress. So this is a short sleeve dress. It's not a full length dress. I got this in a size 60 just because I like my feet to be covered. As you can see, it's super long, it's super flowy, it's super pretty. It's three layers of chiffon and it is so freaking pretty and it is so freaking light. Like this is definitely gonna be one of my summertime outfits. One thing y'all need to know about me is when I like something, I'm going to buy multiple colors of it. I'm going to buy every color I can. I'm probably gonna order more of these. I have it in two more colors, so let's check those out. Hold on, let me just show y'all what it look like without being belted. So this is the look. I do have a mirror right here, so that's what I'm looking at. And I do have my screen here, so I am looking at myself. So don't be trying to call me cross-eyed, y'all. I'm just looking at myself. So it's really cute. I absolutely adore this color, but let me just show you the other colors that I got. So this is the next color that I have. I want to say it's a warm, caramel, tannish, that kind of color. This one does actually have buttons. It has three buttons and it does come with a belt and a caramel hijab. It does not come with the underdress, but you know, um, I think they're all worth the same price, which was about $38. I'm going to put the actual price on the screen, but I just thought this abaya was so cute. And what I tell you, this white hijab carries every single outfit, okay? This white hijab does not miss. Let me just show y'all what it look like with the buttons closed. Even though it has three buttons, you still have to wear something underneath it because there's no buttons at the bottom, honey. And you can't see the buttons when it's closed, which I really like. Like one thing about me, I do not like to see the buttons when my stuff is closed. And I love these arms. I love a bias that have wide arms. Like I love feeling like a freaking princess. And this is giving me princess vibes, okay? I definitely need to get this in another color because why not? It's just so pretty. Oh my gosh, I love this so much. I feel so dainty, so girly, so feminine. Ah, I love this so much. One more color, y'all. Oh, and this one is actually a size 60. So this covers my feet. Like my feet are gone. I am floating. I am gliding across the ground. No one will know what kind of shoes I have on. So I can definitely wear my Crocs with this, okay? 
last but not least i have this in black like why wouldn't i get it in black black is such a classic this one does have buttons and the buttons are black so they just blend right in this one is a size 60 as well and it does come with a belt this abaya is so freaking cute guys like oh my gosh i just feel y'all know how i feel about these abayas like they are so freaking cute so this is the black and it is so freaking cute i know y'all see me i know y'all freaking see me and i know y'all see that video like look at it look at the flow the three levels of chiffon are on match this is going to be a staple for the summer because it's so light so eerie we ain't gonna be hot this summer, okay? <laughs> so these next three abayas are all four-piece sets. So it comes with the hijab, the underdress. I love that it comes with the freaking underdress because sometimes it's hard to match the open abaya to what's underneath. So I really like that it comes with the underdress because it's a complete outfit. You're not wondering what color to wear underneath it. You can just match it with the same color. This size is a size 60. I like that I can wear this with something else, not necessarily with the abaya that it came with. So this is the belt and it matches the scarf as you guys can see. Y'all see the details? Do y'all see the details? Let me get closer so y'all can see. Y'all see the details? All right, so we gonna put the belt on like this. And here is the open abaya that goes on top, honey. As I mentioned, this is a size 60, so it is a bit long on me. And I got it long just in case I wanted to wear heels, but this is so freaking cute. I wish that this had like a belt in it or something, but it doesn't. It does have buttons, it has some snaps. Let me show you the snaps. Y'all see the snaps? They're black, so they blend right in. I'm glad they're not silver because I would have threw everything off. But this is the look. This is mirror right here, so let me just see myself. Okay, I'll probably, I'll probably just leave this open because the buttons don't quite make sense to me unless I wore the belt unless I wore the belt on the outside. So this is the look. And I typically don't like iridescent stones, but I feel like it looks really cute on this blue. Um, the other two ones have iridescent stones on them as well, but I'm not really too crazy about them. But y'all gonna let me know what y'all think, okay? So this is the look and this outer piece is chiffon so it's super light like you can see right through it can y'all see through it y'all can see through it you can see right through it so this is super light as well you can wear this in the summertime if you wear it in the winter time you definitely have to wear some thicker clothes underneath this uh underdress but here yeah. what y'all think am i cute tell me i'm cute say mashallah if you muslim and you're watching this say mashallah right now say it okay let me show you the other two ones so this is the exact same outfit just in purple and it is so dang cute again with the lace detail i don't know if i showed you guys the lace in the last one but it has some lace detail on it it has some iridescent stonework on it it has a belt we're gonna put the belt on on the outside this time just so y'all can see what I got going on. And I think the iridescence on this actually works with this. I think this is actually pretty. Like, I'm not too crazy about iridescent all the time. But I think for these last two abayas, the iridescent works. Like, it's not it's not crazy looking, you know. Because I ain't finna look crazy, okay. I'm gonna look like a princess. And princesses don't be looking crazy. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about the belt on the outside. I don't really know because y'all know my boob situation um i really 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 like this color i love deep colors so i might wear this to e i'm not sure i kind of wore something like this last year so i'm not sure if i'm gonna wear something so similar again but we gonna see okay i have one more that's similar to this but not quite the same for all you new people around here y'all need to know that my favorite color is pink like look at this look at me look at me I love pink. Pink is so pretty and I feel so pretty in pink. But before I put on a thing that goes on top of this, I just want to show y'all how this pink and this pink is two different colors. Like, I feel like this pink is more like a salmon-y, peachy. I don't know how it's coming up on camera, but this is like more of a pure pink. This one is like real peachy, but 
anyways just had to tell y'all that real quick i just want to say that i wish the garment was actually this shade of pink instead of this shade of pink like this is like peach almost like salmon like something i mean it's not quite the same as the other thing that i had on earlier like the peachy peachy like ruffly thing it wasn't ruffles it was like more of a tear kind of thing but anyways i think it's super cute and uh this one has a belt let me just adjust myself over here this one is pink and gold again with the iridescent stones they actually did their thing on these iridescent stones because it doesn't like super stick out to me like it's actually really really pretty um i did wear something very similar to this last year and i just think this it's super cute. I think it is in a size 60 and the underdress that it comes with is actually seems like it's a 58 because it's not quite touching the floor. But nevertheless, I think I'm cute. I think I'm cute. Yeah, I think I'm cute. Okay, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, y'all need to tap into this little Instagram shop because like I said, I believe all these abayas were about $38, no more than $40 and look look how amazing i look and here's the detail just in case y'all wanted to see the iridescent stones and it does have snaps on it as well but i feel like the snaps are like placed super weird like this just looks dumb to me i don't know y'all don't think it looked dumb too like that just look dumb i don't like that <laughs> i feel like I don't know. I feel like it should either be snaps or a belt. Like, because the belt is on the inside. So, not too crazy about that. Anyways, I have two more things to show you guys. I have two Jill Babs that I bought from a completely different company. This is the company's name. De Paris Modesty. I'm not sure if it's The Paris Modesty or De Paris Modesty. But let me just show you guys the two satin Jill Babs sets that I did buy. This is the Jill Babs set. And um, I actually tried on the navy one before. I didn't try this one on. The navy one, the arms are a little short, but this one is not short because you see how it comes down to my wrist. I think that the navy one is like here, but let's focus on this one. So with my Joe Babs, I like to tie the string on the outside. So it has these two strings right here for your head. And uh, me personally, I like to tie mine on my outside because I have a super weird head shape and the inside just doesn't do it for me. Hold on, let me check myself out. So I think I tried on the navy one before and I wasn't really feeling it because the size was a little off. But uh, so this one has strings so that you can wear this as a niqab as well. So you would just lift this up. I never wore this as a niqab so I don't really know what I'm doing but I guess you would just lift this up like this and some kind of way you would tie this so it'll stay on your face. I don't want to get this too close to my face just because, oh, I'm wearing lip gloss, honey. But I think this is a really pretty color and her customer service is really good because I actually inboxed her like, um, what's your return or exchange policy? Because I didn't see one on the website and she did say that she's not accepting returns or exchanges uh, due to COVID. But um uh, this this Jill Bab set was about um, $49 or $48, somewhere around that range. Um, and I told her the size was a little off for me and she actually gave me back $40. So I think that was a good sign of customer service. So I probably would shop with her again. I think I do like this chocolate one, but as far as the length on the feet, I do feel like it's a bit short. I'm seeing too much of my feet. Like y'all saw my last garments. I like to not see my feet at all. Like I don't want to look at these suckers, okay? It is a one size fits all kind of thing. And I was skeptical about that because it's just like, if people are different heights, like I think I'm 5'5". Five five. If somebody is 5'6", then it's going to be even shorter on them. Or if somebody is 5'4 or 5'3", it's going to be longer on them. So, I don't know. Oh my gosh. It doesn't even look that bad. Like, I don't know why when I tried it on the first time, the fit was not right. But now, it doesn't look that bad. Like, the length on the sleeve isn't that short. I mean, I would like the sleeve to be here. But the sleeve is actually, like, here. I have to, like, stretch the sleeve out so that it comes down to my wrist. And the length on it, I mean, it's a little short, but it's not like to my ankles. One thing I will say about this satiny material is that you can't wear leggings underneath this or like a tank top because it will cling to your body. It will be like 
clinging to your freaking body. So you do have to have on something other than leggings. Right now, I'm wearing sweatpants. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. I don't know if I'm going to keep it. I don't like how my boobs are like right there, but it's just like, I am a busty lady. So it's like, there's no way that I'm going to be able to fully cover my boobs any kind of way anyway. So I don't know. I do have the strings on the inside this time, just so you guys can see how it looks. I'm not too crazy about it. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Let me put on a jacket and see if it's still cute. So I would wear this with a jean jacket if it was like a little cooler outside. This jacket, I don't, can't remember where I bought this jacket from, but I definitely know Shein does have these jackets available and it's probably cheaper than what I actually paid for. So check out Shein. Y'all know I love me some Shein. But I don't know. I think this might be okay. Tell me what y'all think. Tell me your honest opinion of what y'all think. I don't know. I think I have to like see myself in it more because I'm just not used to seeing myself like this. I don't know how I feel about this. So definitely let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about this. Once again, this is from Day Paris Modesty. I'm not sure if she has like an actual store, but I know she's online. I'm gonna put her link in the description box and I'm gonna put the link of that Abaya store where I got all these Abaya's from in the description box. Let me know what your favorite outfit was. And if you are a hijabi, let me know where you get your Abaya's from because hunty, I love me a good Abaya. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you like this type of content. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.